take your left elbow to the outside of your right knee and twist this way. Take your shoulder blade back and down the back, your right shoulder blade back and down the back and look over your shoulder. Sort of halfway between a forward bend and a twist. This is what we would be doing if we were doing kind of the, the upper, upper half of our body if we were doing a revolved triangle. Standing up. Now inhale that back arm up and over until you find your elbows crossed on each other and then twist your arms into eagle arms. Inhale them straight up. Exhale them straight down. Inhale them up and come into a back bend. And exhale down and release them. Take your hands to your heart. Inhale them up. And then let's exhale down and take that right elbow to the outside of the left knee, rolling the left shoulder blade back and down the back. You can take your hand to your waist, maybe you want to put your hand up. It's not really about what we're doing with the arms here, it's about how we're arranging the shoulders and how the shoulders are pulling us into this interesting twist. Good, exhale forward coming back and crossing the elbows on top of each other. Wrap your arms around each other. Inhale your eagle arms straight up. Garudasana, eagle. Take them down. Inhale up and see if there's a back bend. Good. Exhale, release. Let go of your hands. Take your legs apart wide. And plant your feet on the ground. And exhale forward. Let's find this forward bend. It's nice in a chair. Take your elbows to the outside of your knees like this and push them away from each other and get deep into your adductors. It's nice in a chair. And you can drop one shoulder and then the other shoulder. Sort of start wiggling into your lower back. Yeah. Good. Come on up. Let's get into our hips. So, take your feet parallel like this. If you're wearing shoes like I am, maybe leave, leave your shoes on the ground. I'm just wearing them because it's wet. Oh, oh well. I'm going to take them off. Ah. Take your left foot, put it on your right knee. And we're going to do our seated pigeon, which, by the way, is really excellent. It's really good. Come forward and see why I like this one. You're coming into your left hip. We do the same pose on the ground when we're flat on the ground, leaning into our knee, that's pigeon pose. We're leaning into our hip, really, but with our knee bent under us. And we do it on our back, the same exact pose, only we'd be holding onto the back of our thigh and lying on our back. And that one is um, figure four needling pose. It's all the same. So just find that release. That's all we're doing. Good, and then come up and then grab your left foot and maybe hold on to your knee or maybe hold behind your calf muscle here. I mean, that would be your hamstring or your calf or your foot. Or if you have a strap, really, a strap is so good. Use anything for a strap. Don't use a microphone cord. But if that's all you have, let me show you like that. It could be a belt or a tie or anything. It's nicer to be able to straighten your leg. You don't have to, but it helps. It helps get deeper into the hamstring. And if you're like me and your shoulders tend to roll out of their sockets, your arm bones come out of your sockets, and you tend to take a bend like this into your shoulders, don't. Roll the shoulders back and down the back. Take the bend where it belongs, here in the leg. Hamstring and calf. Nice. Take your foot to the ground. Let's inhale to a cow lift. I'm turning. You don't turn. I'm just turning to show you. Inhale. And then your shoulders roll back and down the back and your belly kind of comes forward. 
you lift your chin up out of the chest and then exhale down like this. This is cat tuck. I don't need to show you how to do that one. And then inhale, cow lift. This is a big one for people who sit in chairs. Let's just breathe here for a second. It's a back bend. Exhale, cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift. And remember, you're sitting forward and your feet are planted and your hips are square and you're tipping your chin up towards the sky just a little bit. That feels okay. Exhale, collapse everything into your cow lift. It's so easy, I mean cat tuck, sorry. Cat tuck, so easy to do cat tuck. Move in cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift, this is a little bit more of an effort. This is how we wanna live. And then relax a little bit down from that and take your left ear to your left shoulder. And exhale forward. Inhale the other way. Just going back and forth with these neck rolls. If you want to take your neck all the way around to the back, you can, but I don't do that because I think it's dangerous on the cervical spine. That's a place where a lot of people are pretty delicate, the back of their neck. I like just going forwards. Now do you hear the train? It's a lucky sound. Next time your head comes to center, pick it up gently. We're gonna take our right foot onto our left knee, taking leaves off feet as necessary. And then come on down into your hip, right hip this time. We're taking this 20 minutes to take our mind inside our body. And so if you feel your mind wandering somewhere, like to your job or whatever, or emails you have to write or whatever, places that the mind will go, that means that your muscles are ready for you to go a little bit deeper into this pose. So just pay attention. If, on the other hand, at any point your muscles, or especially your joints, get mad, start yelling at you, that, that's the opposite. That means you've got to pull back a little bit. So just pay attention. Yoga is really the art of paying attention. It's not, it's not anything more complicated than that. All right. Come up. Let's do this thing on this side. So you're going to find your way in. Whatever, whatever feels good to you. Maybe you're grabbing here, maybe you're grabbing here, maybe you're grabbing here, or maybe, if you're taking my advice, you're putting some kind of strap around your foot and coming up like that and holding onto the strap. Let's you, lets you get into the full pose. And watch your shoulders. As I said before, don't take this pose into your shoulders. Take your shoulders back and down the back and that's gonna take it where it needs to go, here. <clears throat> Take your feet down. Let's inhale to a cow lift. Roll your shoulder blades down the back. Inhale your chin up just a little bit. Exhale, cat tuck. We remember this one. And then inhale, cow lift. Roll your shoulder blades down the back. Let's do another twist. Let's do this one. Cross your left 
ankle over your right knee and turn your body so that your knees are brushing up against the side of your chair and then sit up tall before you do it sit up tall before you do it and then turn oh it's so good this is so good this one keep your shoulders relatively square make sure you're feeling good there's a couple of poses that I think are better in a chair than on a mat and this one's one of them but you get really deep really fast so be careful good and twist out of that and let's put our feet parallel and let's do like some barrel rolls inhale to a cow lift exhale cat tuck and we're going around in a circle inhale cow lift exhale cat tuck inhale cow lift exhale cat tuck go the other way inhale cow lift exhale cat tuck you just like rolling your spine basically inhale cow lift exhale cat tuck one more time inhale cow lift see if you can become aware of how your core muscles are working here they are working good and then inhale your shoulders back chin comes up out of your chest spine is long pick your uh, right knee over your left and let's turn in this direction until our knees are brushing up against the side of our chair and you know even if you don't have an arm on your chair you can take them until they're brushing up the, the you know what is that thing seat seat and then turn oh that one's so good twist out of that take your feet parallel and see what you're stepping on make sure it's not prickly and then sit up like this I am not picturing that you guys are doing this in the middle of a field of ivy I'm picturing that you're doing it at a desk in an office I did mention that we are coming up into a chair pose right I hope I did Utkatasana chair pose we are hovering above our chair an imitation of our chair taking our weight here into our quads and to our hamstrings and to our what are those things our calves rolling the shoulders back and down the back chair pose should feel like something it should feel like you're working good come down stretch your legs out long in front of you and lean down forward over them planting your heels in the ground we're doing sort of a sort of a forward bend here maybe wiggle in your chair until you find that place where your butt wants to be and if we bend on the ground we're looking for a release in the hamstrings and the calves so see if you can find release in the hamstrings and the calves here This also has the added advantage of being an inversion. Your head is lower than your heart. Chair yoga is interesting. Let's see if I can do it in this chair. I don't know if I've tried it in this chair yet. So we're going to take our hands, take them like right underneath your hips, and then walk your hands out. Make sure you're, and your feet, your feet. Walk your feet out. Make sure you're stable. This one doesn't come out very well on camera. I've watched myself when I'm doing it those other times, and it's not really clear what I'm doing. See what I'm doing? I'm, uh, don't do this. Don't twist. Well, actually, maybe we'll twist in a second. Oh, don't lose your chair. <laughs> Here's what I'm doing. I'm pressing back evenly with my hands. I'm lifting my whole body up. This is Parvatanasana. And if we were on the ground, it would be a reverse tabletop or a reverse plank. Depending on how far out 
your feet are from your body. Good. And then come back. And let's do this hip opener. So take your right foot out to the side and let's take our left foot and cross it on top of the right thigh. Make sure you don't fall out of your chair. I hope, I hope you all sort of took, um, took a little bit of a warning from when I almost fell out of my chair about the five seconds ago there. Take your hands into your heart. It's okay if I fall out of my chair, but I don't want you to. Inhale, arms up your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, arms over your head. Now we're gonna exhale this right elbow to the right knee. And as we lean over, taking this left elbow and tucking it, tucking that arm bone into the socket, taking the left elbow, oh, left shoulder back and down the back, left elbow into the air, like a ballet dancer, like a ballerina. We're feeling inside that left hip and we're feeling this side bend all along this left side of the body. Arrange yourself so that that's what you feel. If you feel into your knee or another one of your joints or something feels bad, change it, rearrange your pose. What we're looking for is a feeling of gentle but definitely noticeable relief coming from the release of muscles in those places that I just noted, left hip, left side body, left ribs. Pick your head up and look at your hand if that feels okay. And if it doesn't, then look down. Big side bend. Good, come on up. And release that foot. Take your legs apart. Let's do this one again. Come on down forward. Take your elbows to your knees. And if it feels all right, take your hands to your shins and press those outside of the knees away from each other. Not so that you're feeling the knees doing anything, but so that you're feeling these adductors, inner thighs. And if you can't get down this low, obviously just like lean on your desk or lean wherever you're leaning. It's good. Good, come on up. Take your hands to your heart. Inhale your arms up. Exhale into your heart. Inhale them up. Exhale to your heart. Inhale up. Exhale down, left elbow to left knee. Let's take a second, arranging this right shoulder. So we're gonna pick up this, this arm in such a way that the arm bone doesn't come out of the shoulder socket. A right shoulder goes back and down the back. Left elbow goes into the air. You're beautiful here. You're beautiful and you're in alignment. And you're looking up at your hand if that feels okay. And if that doesn't feel okay, you're looking down. Oh shoot, so sorry. Totally forgot that we have this foot on top of this thigh. Never mind, forget all that. Come like this. Put your left foot on your, no, your right foot on your left thigh. And come into your side bend. And then feel inside your left hip, I'm sorry, your right hip, your right side body, your right ribs, your right, well, I don't really want you to feel your right shoulder. I want the right shoulder to be strong. Good. Windmill up. And let's do this one again, Parvatanasana. So we're going to take our hands and put them under our hips. And then first let's start out with our feet, just like normal position, like we were sitting in a chair. 
90 degrees and lift up like that that's your upward tabletop in a chair upward table in a chair that's what that is and then walk forward one foot then the other foot here's an upward plank in a chair it's a nice shoulder stretch let your head go back if that feels all right and then a couple days ago we did this bending the elbows coming down pushing back up Ooh, feels hard today push back up that's your triceps if instead of feeling your triceps you're feeling your wrists it may be that your positioning in the chair is not exactly ideal mine is not I'm not gonna do that one today step your feet back sit back on your chair let me check on our time ah okay so we're done take your hands to your heart inhale arms over your head exhale your hands to your heart yoga is really good for you so thanks for practicing namaste